Whose house is it? Rob's house. I'm very disappointed very that we lost again. We haven't won in LA. We won in LA, but can't win in LA. <laughs> Hello, everybody. This is Jacob Matthews here with Fango Media outside of SoFi Stadium interviewing fans at the Raiders and Rams game. And so for me, it's one of those things where we know the product on the field isn't what we what our expectation is, you know, commitment to excellent. I don't think they committed to that over there. Right. How do you think that what do you think y'all need to do to take the next step as a franchise? Do y'all need a new quarterback, new coach? Like, what are you feeling right now as a Raiders fan? You know, for me, you know, Honestly, it's a feeling of what could have been, you know, because yeah. we lose we lose Devontae Adams, we lose Derek Carr, and we only had a season with them doing what they could have done. And so, right. so many pieces are in play, so many pieces that we can con control. But honestly, it's the product on the field. You need a breakout star. Max Crosby does what he needs to do. You know, he's amazing. Yeah. That, that's, that score in there is only 15 to 20. We could have, right. it could have been something else. You got me on here a couple weeks ago when we beat the Niners. Now, yeah. the Rams, I told you, they was going to get it together, right? Absolutely. Get the defense together a little bit. They was going to, you know, make some plays. But right. the Raiders play hard at the end of the day. I knew Antonio Pierce was going to have them ready, especially after trading Devontae. They was going to play hard. But at the end of the day, Raiders going Raider. And it's, Ram, it's Ram's house. So so, so do you – do you th <laughs> nice. <laughs> so do you think this can be a start to, like – Revamping the season. Absolutely. If the, if the, if the Rams can win on Thursday, they save their season. So Who are they playing on Thursday? Minnesota against Justin Jefferson and the rest Ooh. of them. But then Vikings took an L against the Detroit Lions. So we'll see what happens. But I don't know if it's eight, offense or defense, but it, it, whatever it is, we didn't get it together. I think it's everything right now, man. A lot of you know takeaways from Devontae Adams being lost on the offensive side. Do you wish that they wouldn't have traded Devontae Adams? Do you wish he was still here, or do you kind of feel like you needed those pieces? I'm gonna say on both sides because if I'm looking from a player's perspective, bro, you're 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 fed up. You know, yeah. you're done with having to deal with whatever the Raiders have to offer. No quarterback, no offensive line help. Like, how are you gonna get your receptions and get your yards overall? You know what I'm saying? So to to want to be with a team um, that has a quarterback, I can't really say the Jets have an offensive line to be real. Right, yeah. So it's kind of head scratching. Honestly, he uh, went from one bad team to another. Yeah, exactly. So uh, they're still kind of they're uh, to be honest on the defensive side, they're more solidified than we are. You know, with Sauce and and everybody that they have. Right. But as far as like the offensive game, maybe he gives them a boost. You know, they do have Brees Hall. So yeah. maybe he opens up some sort of run game play action with Rodgers, especially you would think they would be able to do that with Wilson. But I think that's why they brought Devontae in to bring that better. Honestly, I think they got way more issues than receiver. What about the loss? What happened? Very disappointed Very that we lost again. We haven't won in LA. We won in LA, but can't win in LA. <laughs> that's the saddest truth. Y'all hey, come out here and rep, though. I, lo yeah. I love how many yeah. fans y'all got. Push up, push up. It's all good. It's, it's all, all good. good. Yeah, okay. It happens. Raiders lose once in a while. Or once in a while. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here, okay, here's the thing, man. So you, you go like I'm, I'm diehard Raider fan. I'm like LA Raider fan from LA. Regardless, the fans always come out for the Raiders. Y'all show up. There's so much more black and silver out here than blue. I mean, it's crazy actually. They were saying like, oh, like getting out of Rams. All you heard was Raiders, Raiders. So they don't get hyped up for the games either. No, they don't. The Rams, Look. No. Y'all, there's more Raiders fans out here in a good mood than Rams fans, and they just won. I don't know what the deal is. Well, because, you know, when you lose, you win. And when you win, you win when you're a Raider fan. Yeah. And I think we should fire um, Pierce. Oh. And fire um, Mincho, man. Fuck, man. That guy let us down tonight. Yeah. I think O'Connor would have let us win right now. Really? Yeah. But didn't, wait, didn't he get hurt, though? Oh, O'Connor? Yeah, didn't he get hurt? I don't think so, man. I think it could have gone a couple games still. If they get a new coach, they get a new quarterback, do you think anything's going to change or it's just going to be same old Raiders? We need to bring Brady back. Oh, yeah. man, man, to a quarterback. You, you get inside the 20-yard line, get inside the red zone. You can't convert to a touchdown. What is going on? And all the turnovers, too. And, all the t and two turnovers, which were costly. It's a 15-20 to 20 game. Those turnovers were pivotal. So for me, it's all about, yeah, the fans are here. We in L.A. You could have came to L.A., but you didn't do it. You went to Vegas. Ain't no Raider fans in Vegas, but we here right now. We want to support you. So and this is what you're putting on the field. This is what you put on the field, but you know what? It's okay because we're getting some Sanders. So what do you think, as a Raiders fan, that y'all need to do going forward to kind of uh, turn this thing around? 
honestly, as a Raider fan, we need to Raider turn. Coaches. We need to start at the QB uh, QB <laughs> position, bro. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. So uh, you can start at the QB position. So um, one thing that I am, in, I'm in a, a, a Raiders like uh, solidified like uh, chat, okay. and we're pretty big nationwide. And uh, Samoan Raider, shout out to you, bro. He's always talking about what we need to do to be uh, to get a top five pick. And right now, there's talks about the Raiders that we need to give up uh, a second or a two to three first round picks to be within the top five this year so we can get Sador Sanders. I was about to say, a Raiders fan earlier was screaming one Shadur. That's yeah, who you want? Sador Sanders is, the, bro, honestly, him or Cam Ward would be solidified, bro, as far as like the next man up. You can see they have that hunger, that willingness to win. The only problem is that I have with Sador Sanders is I don't want that diva, that uh, Eli Manny. I'm uh, I'm prioritized. I'm privileged. My dad's been here. I can do this type deal. Right. So overall, that's the only thing I'm scared of. But right. you know, especially with having a background with somebody that's been within the NFL, you kind of feel like you have a little bit more leverage than anybody in the draft. But right. yeah. overall, bro, I'm hoping that we can at least grasp yeah. some sort of quarterback within the draft and grow within our organization. I'm tired of the Raiders, bro. Every year, <laughs> same old shit, bro. Same old shit every year. Yeah. Be so for real. It's a love hate relationship. Yeah. Um, it's like it's like. It's like an ex-girlfriend. Um, you can't hate but love them, but you hate them yeah, at the same time. We don't get quarterback. Them. That's it. That's the missing f***ing piece is Shador, bro. That's it. You, you're the third Raiders fan to talk about Shador. That's what y'all want, then. Y'all need a Shador, we need a f***ing quarterback, and that's it. I'm telling you, that's it. That's it. That's it. I don't want to be, like, exact on it, but, yeah. like, I just want to hope that they pick the right guy. Right. I don't want them to rush into it. You know what I mean? Like, All right. It's not... It's not gonna happen overnight. You know what I mean? Like yeah. it's not gonna happen overnight, but they're not ready now. They're really not. They got Max Crosby and a lot of other pieces, but they're not ready to win now. And I'm okay with that. But a lot of people aren't. Like, yeah, a lot really of these a lot of these Raiders fans want a complete restart. A lot of Raiders fans oh, yeah, want a Super quarterback. Bowl. That's it. A lot of Raiders That's fans the they don't want a Super Bowl this year. That's not gonna happen. Like straight up, it's not. Be real, yeah. Two to three years, sure. But right now, no. Feel so, uh, pretty good. Uh, <laughs> even though drink we, a little bit. Yeah, even though we don't have Puka and uh, Cooper Cup. But yep. Yeah, we beat the Raiders and uh, we got that bye. And then uh, we'll see you after this. All right. Oh, we got the Vikings next. The Vikings are a pretty good Ooh. team. Yeah. Thursday night football. Oh, yeah. I wish y'all the best of luck, man, on Thursday night football. Right, thank Thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure to subscribe to Fango Media. Click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future videos.